Deutsch, Français, English. Yes. My name is Tiffy. I am here to help you through the world of magical tales. This is my book. Do you see? Click on my book with the magic ring, and the tale will begin. The bell switches the music on and off. This is my scroll. Click on the scroll when you want to read the tale as well as hear it. There are secrets hidden in some pictures for you to play with. When you want to play, just click on the ball. And if you press on the fan, you can choose any page you want from the story. Here are my little horns. They will take you forward and backward through the pages of the story. Here is my tail. If you click on my tail, the tail will stop and I will fly away. Once upon a time, there lived a rich merchant who had a beautiful daughter. She was so beautiful that people simply called her Beauty. On the day our story begins, the merchant was preparing for a long journey. Don't be sad, Beauty. I shall soon return with a pile of presents for my sweet child. Oh, Papa, I really need nothing. Take this rose with you for luck and bring me, if you will, an even more beautiful one. More beautiful than any other in the world. had completed his business affairs, he set off in search of a gift for his daughter. He sailed to a small island where a lone savage lived. Do you have a red rose? But the savage only had stone statues, bones and palm trees. So the merchant exchanged some beads for a statue and sailed on in search of the gift for his daughter. And so the merchant arrived in India, where he saw an ancient temple covered in vines, and among the vines a great stone idol. He sailed a little closer and told the idol about his daughter's request. Suddenly, it seemed to him that the idol shifted slightly. Oh, what was that? No sooner had he pulled out his spectacles to get a better look, than something snatched them away, leaving a banana in their place. The merchant could see that he was not going to find a beautiful rose in India, so he left that land as quickly as he could and sailed on in search of the present he had promised to bring his beloved daughter. Augustin, 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 oh mein lieber Augustin, komm zu mir schnell. Oh mein lieber Augustin, 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 mein Söbchen, ho ho! The merchant sailed across many seas until he came to Europe, where he met a master watchmaker. Hail, master watchmaker! I'm in search of a red rose. I can offer the rarest of tools in exchange. Mein Herr, I am afraid I am unable to help you. I have spent my whole life working with clocks mechanisms and have never seen even one rose. The merchant could see that he would never find a beautiful rose in Europe. He sailed away in search of the present for his daughter. <laughs> And so, the merchant sailed further and found himself in the cold, frozen north, floating among the icebergs. Oh, what a big canoe! 
Oh, hurry there, fellow. Can I find a red rose in these parts? Oh, I can trade you a hat. Oh, what a comfy hat. Do you have a rose? Roses don't grow here. Look at the weather. I can give you a walrus, though. But the merchant didn't need a walrus. It was as plain as day that he would never find a rose in the cold, frozen north. So he sailed further in search of the gift he had promised his beloved daughter. <laughs> He sailed and sailed, and by and by he saw upon a rock a bright red rose of unimaginable beauty. At long last I can go home and embrace my beloved daughter. And the merchant was about to leave when he was stopped by a fearsome beast. You tried to take my rose, and so you shall perish. The merchant was terrified. Oh, I didn't know it was your rose. Here, take it. Take the lot. Take all that I have. My breeches, my boots. But the lord of the island did not care for the merchant's breeches or boots, and was about to kill him when he caught sight of a portrait of beauty. Oh, I will let you go if you give me your word to send your daughter to me. I promise I will in no way offend her. The merchant had no choice, and so he gave his word, and with a heavy heart set off on a long journey home. And so poor Beauty had to sail to the island. She climbed up the stone steps and wandered about the castle. She walked for a long time through the halls and corridors, but when the beast appeared, Beauty was terrified. Oh, I will not keep you against your will. Go home to your father. With that, Beauty turned into a white dove and flew away. The beast was heartbroken. He thought he would never again see such a beautiful maiden. He hugged her portrait to him and sighed a deep, sorrowful sigh. Beauty flew to her father's house. Papa! The merchant was overjoyed to see his daughter again. Oh, my own dear Beauty! My own sweet one! At that moment, the house magically filled with the most exquisite presents from the lord of that gloomy isle. Beauty remembered how sad the beast had been when he let her go, and how gentle he had seemed. She wished with all her might to return to the island and see the beast. No sooner had she done so than she turned into a white dove again and flew away. When Beauty returned, she saw the beast. He had given up all hope of a happy life, and was dying for love of her. He was sinking lower and lower, but he didn't care. Nothing mattered to him anymore. Please don't die. I don't care if you are a beast. I know I shall always love you. And she kissed the beast, and then a miracle took place. The prince told Beauty his story. Many years ago, an evil witch turned me into a beast and said that the spell might be broken only by the true love of a beautiful maiden. Your love has saved me, Beauty. And they lived happily ever after.
Beauty has to return the rose to the monster, but she is lost in the castle. You have to help her. The rose will show you the way. No closed doors can stop you. If you press the longest key on the keyboard, it is called the space bar, then any door will open. Collect the things you find along the way. To do this, press the key in the bottom right-hand corner, which is marked Enter. The things you find will help you when you see the mirrors. Press the spacebar to see.
Do you want the story to end? Goodbye, my little friend. <laughs>